Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. This is just going to be a very quick video talking about a new discovery inkwise that I found on Cold Pens and it is literally the best or perfect grey for me. And this is it here and I'm going to talk about it here. Just excuse the state of my hands. I was opening some paints. It was very messy. I've done a video on it. So you'll get to see that. Um, but yeah, that's why my hands are uh, really messy with uh, gouache paint. So exciting discovery of the month, uh, art materials wise, is this Montev I think it's Monteverde. I think that's how you pronounce it. Probably butchering it there. But um, Monteverde Smoke Noir Ink. And... It's just so lovely. I was looking for a grey ink because I don't think I have. I've got a Payne's grey. I've got a very pale, very pale grey colour. But I wanted something similar to, um, where is it? An FW ink, which is a cool grey. This one here. So this is the Dale and Rowney FW Cool Grey. It's an acrylic ink. And I love it. I love the shade of it. But I wanted like a fountain pen ink that was similar. However, this is different because this is not... It doesn't seem like a cool grey to me. It's It it looks more warm leaning. Um, A more warm leaning grey to me which is right up my street and it's just perfect. It's my perfect grey, literally perfect for me. I was so excited when I swatched it. I thought this is this is exactly what I have been looking for. And look at this swatch. I mean, the lighting's not best at the moment. I'm filming this on a night, um, dark nights. Um, hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear that background noise. I can hear fireworks going off. So I'm filming this on a night. The lighting's not the best. However, look at this lovely swatch. I'll lift it up. It's just such a gorgeous grey. Um, now, this kind of works differently to a diamine ink. Um, it, 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 I think it's a little bit like the octopus inks, although I couldn't say online whether it does have any acrylic in it um or is whether it's light fast the octopus inks are like light fast inks whereas i'm not sure i'm not sure about this at all so i, I i'm just going to treat it like i would a diamine ink or like a sailor ink as a fountain pen non-light fast ink but it's just a gorgeous gray it's yeah i've said it a couple of times now it's my perfect type of gray I have ordered some more, um, a couple more of these noir colours um, from the Monteverde inks. Um, so I might film a video on that if they come. Because um, I've ordered quite a few inks from Cult Pens. I've ordered quite a lot of black ink. Um, again, because I didn't really have a black ink. Or like a, a straight black ink. I've got like a green black or a blue black, but not like a black um, ink and that's kind of what I wanted I wanted a grey ink and I wanted a black ink but I just wanted to show this at uh, this I've used mainly this ink to do this piece in my sketchbook um, there's a little bit of pencil work over the top I uh, could think that could be Mars black pencil but I'm not sure and some sort of yellow and orange pencil but it was mainly this ink and look at the different type of tones that I've managed to achieve with just one ink. I just really love it. I really love how it works. So you can do a monochromatic um, piece like this and you can get the depth of tone with it. And look how light that is there. So that's a, like a really light washed out version of the ink. But then you can also get it to go really dark as well. 
um, more dense on the page. And I just love it. I'm really happy with this piece as well. I've been drawing. If you follow me on Instagram, um, if, if you have Instagram, um, you'll have seen that I've been doing a lot of <laughs> graveyard sketches. Um, and this was one of them. This is one of them that I've done with this ink. And I, it happened per chance. I was um, swatching this out and I thought, oh, I'm going to progress my graveyards a little bit. I did a little church in um, and make it quite spooky looking with the raven looking over. And I really like how it turned out. And I just like how I've managed to get it all with mainly this one ink. And yes, that's my exciting discovery for October. And yeah, let me know if you've tried these Monteverde inks, what you think of them. Have you found any exciting discoveries recently in regards to art materials that you are you or do you love a particular art material at the moment? I'm loving using black ink um, or dark inks. I'm loving doing these type of sketches. Loving working monochromatically. Um, loving working quite spookily. Um, with the different textures etc and that's where I am okay just a very quick video there um, just to show you that one thing thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye for now